Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the crochet granny rectangle blanket. We are going to start with a slip knot and then make a chain of 18 plus 2, so you're going to have 20 chains total. In the third chain from the hook, you're going to place a half double crochet in the back of the chain. You're going to continue by placing a half double crochet in the back part of each chain all the way across, and you're going to end up with 18 half double crochets total. So we're going to start our first cluster with a standing double crochet. And uh, if you don't know how to do that, I will put a video in the description below, but then you're going to place two more double crochets in that same stitch. Next, you are going to skip two stitches and then place another cluster of three double crochets in the third stitch. And you're going to do this all the way across until um, you reach the last stitch and you're going to have seven clusters total. You're going to place your last uh, double crochet cluster in that chain looking space at the end and you're going to start the process on making the corners to turn and then go around the other side of the half double crochet. So you're going to place a cluster in there and then you're going to chain one to make the corner, place another cluster, chain one, and then place one more cluster all in that same space. Now that we have made the two corners, we are going to work six more double uh, crochet clusters along the other side of the half double crochets. And since we did the half double crochets in the back loop, it should be pretty easy where to see the stitches and you're going to skip two and then place a cluster, skip two, place a cluster. It's the same thing that we did on the other side until you get to the last stitch. So you can see we made it to the last stitch space and that's where we're going to put the other corners. So we're going to place a cluster, three double crochets, and then we're going to chain one, place another cluster, chain one, and then slip stitch into the top of the standing double crochet that we made at the beginning. And this is what your project should be looking like. So we are going to turn and then we're going to work the next corner of the next row. So we're going to start off with the standing double crochet again and then add two more double crochets after that. Chain one and then we are going to place another cluster in that same chain space. So now that we did our other corner, we are just going to go straight into the next chain one space. And as your project gets bigger, you're going to have clusters in between the corners. So just know that the only place that you put a chain one in between clusters is in the corners. All of the other clusters along the long side and in between the corners, there's no chain ones. So throughout this video, you probably heard my assistant. His name is Newt, and he likes to throw his opinions in during my projects. So that was him.
Now we're going to uh, place a slip stitch into the top of the standing double crochet from the beginning of the row. So I worked this cluster with a chain three at the beginning just to show you the difference between what it looks like when you do a standing double crochet and a chain three. I prefer the standing double crochet only because it makes it so you can't really see where the rows begin. It makes it so it all kind of blends together as you keep adding more rows. And like I said, I will have a video that I made on how to do the standing double crochet in the description below. So you're just going to continue uh, doing everything the same as we did in the last two rows but you'll notice as your project gets bigger you're going to have more clusters in between the corners on the long side and in between the corners on the shorter side of the rectangle so just to remind you again the only place that there is a chain one space is in between the corner clusters Along the long side and along the shorter side of the rectangle between the clusters, there is no chain one. So I'm going to stop this particular project right here and show you just what it should be looking like. And just to show you as your project gets bigger, this is what it's going to be looking like. This is the blanket that I am currently working on right now. If you all like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video out to all of your crafting friends. And thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. My social media and the link to the standing double crochet video will be in the description below.